For the Lord says, I will make a way in the wilderness. Tell them that I will make a way in the wilderness. Thank you, Jesus. Hey guys, welcome back to the Beauty in Her Serving Christ. The Lord specifically wanted me to give you those words alone. He said, I need you to tell them that I am making a way in the wilderness. He hasn't forgotten. He has seen every tear. He has heard every cry. He knows exactly what you need. And he says, tell them I am making a way in the wilderness. He is going to do what he said he's going to do. He is the God that makes rivers in the desert. He's the God that provides way when it's way when it seems like there is no way. He is the God that shows up when you feel like you have nothing left. He is the God that supplies every need. He is the God that sees all and is there for all. He is Jehovah Jireh. He is Jehovah Shalom. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you, but he will set out to do what he said that he is going to do. He is the God that can make ways in the wilderness. He is the God that can look at a desert and say, that is gonna be the place where I fulfill the thirst of my children. He can look at a place where he sends you that looks like it's in a complete drought and send the rain. He can send you to a place that looks like it's completely filled with worry and fear, but absolutely not for the Lord will provide a way in the wilderness. And places that normally don't look like there is a way out. You have to understand the wilderness looks like there is no way out. But the Lord says, no, no, no. It's when I send you into a place where it looks like there is no way out, where I show you that I provide a way. Because I am the God that makes all things new. I am the God that does exactly what I said that I'm going to do. I am the God that when it seems like there is no way, I provide the way. So you can know just who I am. Who, Jesus? I need them to really understand that this wilderness season that they're talking about, this wilderness season that they're experiencing, that I'm making a way. He set it out already. It's already in the path. It's already in the provision. And you have to understand these are supernatural things that are happening. Manna falling from heaven, that's supernatural. That's miraculous. A way in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, supernatural. Believe God for the miracle. Put him to the test with your faith. Put him to the test with your full tithes and watch him pour out a blessing that you cannot contain. That is the God that we serve. And I want to read you the scripture because the Lord was like, listen, I asked you to read them that scripture yesterday. And I'm like, I'm sorry, Lord, I got lazy. But you know, sometimes, you know, we all fall short of the glory of the Lord. But praise God, because he's so intentional about you. He said, I need them to understand this. I don't want them to get discouraged. I don't want them to feel like I've forgotten them. I need them to put me to remembrance. I need them to know who I am. Remember that I am the God that makes a way when it seems like there's no way. In Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19, he says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. He always comes through. He will make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Don't forget exactly what your Lord does. Don't forget who your God is. Don't forget that when he says a thing, when he works, who can reverse it? Don't forget as he says it, it will be performed. So no matter what you're looking at, no matter what you're seeing right now in the natural, remember that you serve a God who works in the realm of supernatural, who over seeds in the realm of the supernatural, who does exceedingly abundantly more than we can ever ask or think. And so if you are in this place, if you are in a wilderness season, whoo, Father God, Lord, I just feel the Holy Spirit. If you are in this wilderness season, the Lord wants you to know that he is making a way. He is making a way. He has not forgotten you. He has not forgotten you. He will not leave you there. But put your trust in him. Put your faith in him. For he will make a way. Trust God. Father God, Lord, I pray for a restoration. 
I pray then thank you for being El Roy, Father God. Thank you for being the one who sees your children as they wander off into the wilderness sometimes or even in the wilderness season that they're in. You see them and you provide provisions. You provide manna. You make ways when it looks like there's no way. You are the miracle worker. You are the promise keeper. And so, Lord, I pray that they begin to feel that in their spirit. Feel that in their heart. Understand that in their mind that you will always come through and that you are the God who provides. He will provide for you. He has not forgotten you. He will not leave you. This is not going to be the place where that's it. There is more to the story. Trust him for he's made a way. Okay, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I don't even think I said this, but this is the beauty in her serving Christ. My name is Naya, for those of you who don't know. Make sure you guys like, comment, type, subscribe, and share. And I will see you on the next video. Remember that God loves you and he is making a way. Okay? Love you guys. Have a blessed night. Bye.